Well, too, I didn't suppose that when I come down here to New York City, I was going to flop right in the middle of high tone society, but I guess that's just about what I done, you see. I had an old friend living down here named Henry Higgins, and I wanted to see Henry mighty bad. Well, I got a fella to show me where his house was, way up on Avenue 5, and I went up there, and gosh, when I seen it, he just about took my breath away. Henry's house is a good deal bigger than the courthouse at Punkin Center. <laughs> well, I went up and rung some newfangled sort of a doorbell, and fella with knee breeches on come out and wanted to know who it was I wanted to see, and I told him I wanted to see Henry Higgins. Well, I guess Henry must have heard me talking, cause he just come out and grabbed me by both hands. He said, why, Uncle Joyce Weathersby, how do you do? Come right in, while sir. He took me into the house and introduced me more women folks than I'd seen in a long time before. <laughs> I guess they was having the sort of society doings at Henry's house. One old lady said, Lord, say to lie, Mr. Weathersby, I'm so glad to see you. I've heard Mrs. Higgins speak of you so often. I said, well, now, you put me in mind of old Nancy Smith back home at Pumpkin Center, and she's been trying to get married past 40 years that I can remember on. <laughs> well, they had a dance. I think they called it a cow pillion, Walter. I hopped right out on the floor, sashayed all hands around, bounced to partners, and cut up more capers than any young fella there. Just looked like all of the ladies wanted to dance with me. <laughs> After that, they had something to eat in the dining room, and I hadn't any more, and got stopped down, got to eating right good when that darn fool with the knee breeches on insulted me. He handed me a little wash bowl with a towel around it, and I told him he needn't cast any insinuations at me. I washed my hands before I come in. Well, then they had something what they called ice cream. Looked to me like a bar of cast steel soap. I stuck my fork in it, tried to bite it, and it slipped off, got inside of my vest, and less than a minute I was froze from my chin to my toes. <laughs> Guys, I cut a caper at Henry's house. <laughs>